Hello everybody, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! Today, we have quite an interesting patient, from the law's point of view that is. Meet Tiny Thief. So today, we are going to send the system to hell as we go break laws. That's what they are created for, right? The plot. The plot itself is not that interesting in its portrayal. Each chapter, or every mission packed to be precise, is designed as a one-act performance in a puppet show. Well, you know there used to be that kind of thing before in the past. They used to travel between villages and towns and show these performances at squares. By the way, a thief who cuts off the purses of spectators enthralled by the show was often a member of the troupe. But this is not the main story here. The curtain is drawn up and we see this nice intro, where the figure of the main hero, hanging on threads, starts to take action. When you choose a mission, you can see a small comic strip, a prehistory if you will, explaining to us what the risk is if we're caught for theft again. Though, you'll often have to steal from Robin Hood's methodology. E.g., an old lady is cooking soup, she has nothing except for fish bones, but she dreams of a pumpkin. And our compassionate petty thief really wants to steal a pumpkin for her. From rich men and evil guards to everything in between. Well, the entire game is a match for the menu and stories. The visual style is very cartoony with a little schematic drawing. The sketchiness and simplicity isn't annoying here, but it fits in with the atmosphere very well. By the way, about the atmosphere itself, this game has it. I mean, you don't feel completely immersed in the game at all times, but nevertheless, I felt myself a part of the show from the menu onwards while playing. As if I got to be part of a fairy tale about a good thief and evil shopkeepers. In short, it's nice. And now let's talk about the gameplay. It felt very familiar to me right from the very beginning. But as the first missions were very simple to start with, such as stealing a food basket from a sleeping guard, I couldn't picture having to do that sort of thing for long. And only when I played the mission with the old lady and the pumpkin, it dawned on me. Neighbors from hell! That used to be such a splendid game. Or rather, the first two parts were splendid. And after that, the whole series felt like I was spending hours on the toilet trying to take a dump. But this is not like that at all. If you remember that game, you'll be able to imagine what kind of game Tiny Thief is. This is a stealth arcade game, where you are judged based on the right time to act. That is, you wait till the man turns aside so you could do some nasty thing to him. E.g., you throw a sausage to his dog. And after that, you hide and wait for your trick to work and draw the man away. And then you can easily take the thing you came there for. Oh, I almost forgot. Every mission has a kind of a bonus submission. E.g., find hidden objects and things like that. Our thief also has a friend. It's either a polecat or a marten or maybe even a ferret. And it also hides. If you find it and call it by tapping on it, you'll get extra bonus points. And here I have left the controls for the end. This is the weakest point of the game, and I'll tell you why. The thing is that you move with taps on the screen. When you find yourself next to an object you're supposed to interact with, an action icon appears next to it. And this is definitely not convenient. You can adapt yourself to it, of course, but when you have to do something during a certain period of time, it would be so much better if you could just control it with a joystick. But in this case, I didn't manage to tap the barrel first and then the action icon very often. So there you go. The game has a lot of pluses, and the awkward control is a pretty big minus. This could be forgiven if the game's good, right? That's all for today. Add a comment and subscribe for the channel if you like this video. This was Jay, with reviews from Mob.org. See you!